Alright, we're going to divide the court based on the baseline. Okay, this number one slash is about two feet from the sideline of the single sideline. And then between one and two, you're going to hit backhands, normal backhands. And then from two to the doubles alley, you're going to hit defensive backhand, like a high loop cross court, a slice cross court. Okay, and the reason we do this is people often have good forehands, but they're not using it. This is a shift move. You have to learn how to do that little shift move. Okay, and then what you're going to do is because you want more forehands, you're going to do a shift move. You're going to hit and you're going to stay and I'm assuming you're hitting the forehand to their backhand and that way you're on that side of the court covering the shot if you go up the line to the yellow what's going to happen there going up the line to the yellow opens up the cross court forehand so you have to watch out for that shot you use that shot to finish you can step into the court your person the opponent's off the court so you're going to hit the shot to their backhand and you're going to stay on that side of the court thus giving you more forehands. You are opening up the down the line to the corner, but the key is you want to use your weapon more often. When This is when you know you hit a backhand. Once it lands somewhere between that one and two, the yellow portion of the court, you're going to hit the backhand. Do not go down the line. Why would you hit your backhand down the line to the forehand? You can only go down the line if you're going to hit a clean winner. Okay, because it's a massive change of direction off a of cross court Hitting a backhand is going to be really hard to close the face in the ball and make the ball go in. And you're probably going to curl it a little bit to their forehand. And you're going to lose control of the point. So you want to hit your backhand to their backhand. Or, even if they run around it, they're still in that corner of the court. So you still maintain your positioning. That's the key. Make the move. Stay where, it, stay where it is. Make the court totally slanted. Know when the backhand begins and read the pace of the ball. If, if you can't get in the position to hit a solid forehand, then don't. Just hit the backhand. Now this is the hard part. You gotta kinda know where it is that you're gonna hit a, a solid forehand. And the giveaway is gonna be is when you make this move, see I'm already in that side of the court. Once the ball comes to my once the ball comes to me, it's okay. But here I'm gonna make a large, just a large move right there. I can't get around to plant my left foot. This is a bad time to hit a forehand. Right. And that's the problem. Don't hit the forehand on that bad shot. When you see your opponent do this shot and they can't get in position and they can't plant, it's going to come off like a spin shot. So if you're going to get there and you can't do anything about it, I would just hit a looping shot to their backhand high. And you still maintain control of the point. Okay? If you see this on your opponent's side and you see this and they, they nail a great shot off of this, you're in trouble. Because it will be really hard to make them hit a backhand. The more you do this, the better you get at it. And you'll start to realize when you can hit an offensive shot, when you can hit a defensive shot. And even your defensive shot, a high rolling top spin to their backhand, that's a pretty tough shot for most players. You'll still maintain control of the point. So you have to decide quickly, make the shift, get in position, get to that ball. And when you're in trouble on the shift, then what you got to try to do is hit a defensive shot, deep roller cross court.